What's going on guys? Back in the garage again. Got the car uncovered. Um, got the intake off. We're gonna put the stock intake back on. Um, there, uh, cause I'm gonna fire the car up today. Um, I wanna turn it around. So I've shoveled the driveway. Uh, we actually have really nice weather out here today, as you can see. Everything, everything is melting and stuff like that. So I'm um, gonna turn the car around on the driveway and uh, back it in so I can finish stuff on the other side. Plus I'm gonna start running the stereo stuff. So. I gotta be on that side because uh, there's a uh, an amp that excuse me the amp that goes under the passenger seat and stuff like that. Plus, probably be doing a few other little things. So, all right, guys. So, we started shoveling it a little bit. Uh, we gotta fire up the old Mazda here. So, do that. You guys, ever heard of? cold start on a 2.0 liter Mazda. She's a ripper, fellas. She's got a sweet exhaust on it. Let's see. She's a ripper. She's a ripper. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Listen to her purr. Listen to her purr. So, I'm gonna warm up the cars, gotta clean up the bottom of the driveway a bit more, and then we'll get to this girl here. Hey guys. So, got the stock intake sitting on there, just starting to get the bolts in for it. Um, there's a bunch of stuff that have to be hooked up, just like I said in the previous, there's a PCV valve back at the bottom that goes to the bottom intake vacuum lines for the EGR, the air intake needs to be hooked back up, the AIC needs to be plugged in, the throttle cable needs to be put back on. Um, there's a vacuum hose here for, um, where is it? It's stuck here somewhere. Uh, oh yeah, that's the, sorry, it was this one. This one for your vacuum block that goes for your booster, it's gotta go in. There's a one for the fuel, pressure regulator that goes back here um plus there's another vacuum in the front that goes down for your egr or not your egr your your smog pump there's a sensor down here that's a vacuum sensor it's there's a line that goes for that so all that needs to be hooked up um these here on the spacers they're actually coolant lines as you can see mine are blocked off because it's deleted, everybody deletes them. It's for cooling the gases from the EGR and to help keep the, you know, this warm, or I guess in the winter or whatever. Um, but yep, it's bypassed. So we don't have to worry about that. So I'm gonna tighten the bolts down here. Um, you know, it's very important that you torque your upper intake. You know what I mean? To the proper specs, you know? And there's a tightening sequence, which I like to call whatever way I wanna tighten it. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, so the torque specs for this upper intake is very important. And uh, I like to recommend uh, two Uggadugas, okay? At least two, so uh, Uggadugga. <laughs> Ooh, ugga dugga. All right, so I have all the bolts tightened. Um, I did not torque them. I just, I do snug by hand. Yes, there's torque recommendations. You can look them up. I've always snugging them, hand tight, never had a problem. Um, the lower intake, that's different. I've always torqued those in sequence. Um, because those gaskets are a bit different than the upper intake gasket. So, you know, torque them if you want, don't torque them, but 
bought them yes torque this one i didn't i just do it by hand never had an issue um so i just gotta put like the rest of the lines on we'll pop this off so we can do this and uh hmm, wrong spot i'm so dumb today all right so there, we'll put that there so that goes there and then like i said there is an oil or not an oil one but where did i go oh, there it is so there's this one here like i said this one goes there's a i don't know if you'll be able to see it but in there there is a vacuum you can see it kind of we got to pop this on in there so we'll just pop this girl on hopefully it goes on not too hard because it, even though it's warmer today um everything's still pretty chilly because at night we still get down to like minus four or whatever so it's still cold in here that's why i got my heater on just to kind of just warm the, the floor and the, the cement and stuff it'll just warm it up it is nice outside but got a little bit of a breeze so um anyways so yeah just some vacuums got to plug in some connectors the iac um like i said i gotta hook up the egr still um oh where did that vacuum come off there's all this stuff in my way you know so i gotta figure out where that vacuum is we got two vacuums i'm missing Something happened where I lost a vacuum. Oh, man. Always grief, you know? So, I have to figure out where that went. Um, there's the one for the fuel right there. I'll put that one on. And then I'm assuming there was a T or something here. Probably. Yeah. Or I just broke it now, which is, I think I just broke it. Son of a bitch. All right, guys. So, got it back together. I'm pretty sure everything's hooked up. I did a quick double check. We'll fire it up. I don't know how it's going to run. I just quickly taped this line together. I can cap it off if I want to. It's just for the AC, air conditioning stuff. So, I'll cap it if I have any issues. But, um... We should be okay. The car hasn't ran in a little bit, so we'll see how it tries to start. Um, and we'll, we'll go from there. We'll see if it does start. All right? And see what happens. All right. typical for a fox body to start up after a while they'll idle up and down right until they figure themselves out especially when you've had a car apart as much as i've had this car apart um it's going to do this it's always best to do after you've disconnected your battery or things like that is always do a base idle reset on your car and 95% of the time, the base idle reset will fix your idle, like your surging idle problems. A lot of guys think it's vacuum leaks and all that stuff, but trust me, if you do a base idle reset, anytime you touch something on these cars, you know, throttle body or your battery disconnect, always do a base idle reset. Trust me, you won't regret it. So let's get a click about how she sounds. if she stays running. So, 
for a little bit um, until it warms up a bit. So, you know, it happens. I've had the battery disconnected for about a month, so I'm going to want to try to learn and etc. So, we'll get a better idle clip once she stops surging. All right, so I had the car running for a little bit. Um, it's idling a lot better. I did do a video of that, which I'll do after the next part of the video here. Um, it's not running too bad considering it's been sitting. And like I said, a lot of stuff is mixed up on it. It's not gonna be permanent. Like I said, I wanna get it out. I wanna turn it around. Um, tomorrow, we're supposed to have like plus six, plus seven is supposed to be sunny. So hopefully I can get the car outside and maybe do some of the work outside and you know, do a walk around of the car for you guys so you can see the whole car um, if you haven't. Uh, there is some older videos of the car walk around. Um, also, you can go on my Instagram at Northern Fox Bodies as well. Um, but yeah, like I said, hopefully this week I'll get back the lower intake, the Explorer one, because this sensor here uh, on the Explorer intake isn't existent here. So I want this sensor to be in the same spot because I don't want to have to relocate this wire. Um, so we had to drill out that hole. I attempted to do it myself and I messed it up. I have bad luck with an aluminum. So I give it to my friend who says he can fix it for me. Um, because guys are asking like 250 bucks just for a lower intake, you know? So, um, so once that comes back, then we rip the car apart again. Right? Typical Fox body fashion, right? Uh, you never stop working on them. Constant, constant, constant back and forth with the cars. So, but that's the fun of it, right? Um, you know, that's why it's a hobby. There's always something to do with these cars. Doesn't mean that they're pieces of shit or, you know, they're problem cars. They just, there's always something you want to do, you know, upgrading or there's just always something. And like I said, for me, with my mental health issues and stuff, it helps keep me grounded, you know. If I have problems, you know, if I'm having a rough day, I just come out to the garage, you know. And sometimes I just, I'll just sit here and stare at it or, you know, I'll just tinker with whatever. Take something apart just because to clean it, you know what I mean? Um, like, the other day I came out and, uh, you know, the license plate bulbs, they were dirty. The lenses, so I took those off and cleaned them. And then, funny story, um, you know, the bulbs I thought were red bulbs, uh, and I didn't, I thought it was too importy for me. So, uh, turns out they were painted red. So, I'm gonna replace those with LED ones, and, you know, just little things like that, just to keep your sanity sometimes when you're having a rough day or a rough week. Um, you know, these cars have always uh, helped me through a lot of things. Um, it's why I have like a, I guess a special connection with them and the people that I meet through them. So, you know, enough sappy stuff. Um, we'll get to the idle clip next and, uh, you know, I don't know what else I'm planning on doing today. My buddy's supposed to drop off the radio and the speakers that I want to finish tomorrow. So hopefully maybe we'll get two videos in and do one for the weekend for tomorrow or for Sunday, which would, I'll be putting it out tomorrow, which today is Saturday. Uh, and then maybe on Wednesday, I'll do another one, um, you know, and go from there. Hopefully you guys like what you see. Um, starting to warm up, so we'll be able to get, I'm gonna start taking the car to work and start doing stuff. So I'm on vacation in a couple weeks, so it should be pretty awesome.
That's nice. I even got heat. Woo <laughs> so, nice. So, hopefully you liked the clip. We had a clip and stuff. Um, it's going to be it for today. Um, my buddy dropped off the radio for me. It's not the doubled in. It will be getting a double bin, but I need to test all the wiring in the speakers. He gave me these speakers as well. They're just for testing, make sure all the wiring and everything works. So I'll probably do that tomorrow. Hopefully get around to getting the car outside tomorrow. It's supposed to be a nicer day. Um, till tomorrow, have a good day.